Good morning and good evening everyone. My name is Epsilon Runner and welcome back to the Halloween Horror Challenge. It's finally happened. We are three days away from finishing. You know, we've got tomorrow and the next two days and we finally have reached Halloween and we end the series. But I warned you, well I didn't warn you, I warned myself back at the beginning. I was eventually going to have to end up playing one of the most well-known horror games to date. Amnesia The Dark Descent. Amnesia is one of those games where I have continuously screamed I'm not ready. I don't want to play this game. This game scares the living crap out of me. I've watched a lot of different youper, you, youper, 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 YouTubers play this game. You know, I, I started watching Markiplier when he started this series. I've watched PewDiePie play this series. It's one of those games where I know how terrifying it is, and I really don't want to be a part of it. But it's one of those games where it is a very good horror story. And in all honesty, I probably should play it because it's a great story and it's gonna be a great video because I suck at video games apparently, especially horror games, and I will die a lot. I only got three deaths, but hopefully I'll make it last a decent space of time. But let's just jump right in and get started because oh the sooner i get this over with the better so let's name ourselves our page epsilon runner yeah select oh my god i'm so not ready for this i i am not ready for this at all start a new game it's gonna be so much fun no it's not <laughs> At least I'm here with you. It doesn't give me a lot of help with that. Wow. I don't. This, this is one of those games I talked about before, where you literally don't forget. Some things mustn't be forgotten. The shadow hunting me. I must hurry. My name is Daniel. I live in London. At at uh, Mayfair. What have I done? This is crazy. Don't forget. Don't forget. I must stop him. Focus. My name is... Yes. I am Daniel. Well then. Nice to meet you, Daniel. Where are we waking up at? No one knows! Creepy, like, medieval-style... Eh, place. Oh, I'm already dizzy. Yay. Hold up a second. I'll be right back. Forgot to change some settings. And we're back! Audio was messed up. Oh, Jesus. A memento has been added to the journal. I don't... I can barely see. But as I've noticed, that's with a lot of these games, is I can't see for crap. There's blood on the ground. No tinderbox. Well, crap. I can pick up things! Can I have a tinderbox so I can have some light? Something? Anything? No. Where do I find tinderboxes? So, I was reading, because I've never opened, I've... This is legitimately one of those games where I have never played. I can't even walk straight, Jesus, dude. Let's just follow the blood. But, like, it's one of those games where I would never open if I don't have to. Okay, so I'm not supposed to open that door. That's what that meant. 
but I was reading what it says at the beginning of the game, like, you know, how to experience the best of this game, and it's like, don't try to beat the game, just kind of play and see what happens. It's a tender box! Why can't I just have the lantern or the candle thing? Chair. Oh. Chair. Yes. So, where am I going? So I can't see. There we go. Yeah, I've got some light in a room. I can't go anywhere. Well, crap on toast. That's gross. Where? I tried to open this door and it wouldn't let me do it. Oh, there's a doorway. What? Hi, Mr. Doorway. Why'd you open for me? You gave me a tender and a bottle. Ah. Oh. So, I don't really, like, as I. I, I say this and it's kind of crap how I say it. I have watched this game played before. This game scares the crap out of me. But I don't know how to game. It's one of those things where I know that this game's like impossible to really do anything. You kind of just. You kind of just walk and run and pray you survive but past that oh why can't I not walk forward why why I don't like no I'm not okay this is not cool face my box of doom wait Okay, never mind, I can't pick it up. But, I just know it's one of those games where you just kind of run for your life. And you, oh. When standing in darkness, your sanity will slowly drain. Turn on lights. Cool. So that's why I'm kind of looking in, like crazy. It's because I'm going crazy. That makes a bit more sense. I will pull the tactic of. Never mind. I was gonna say, I'm gonna pull the tactic that I see everybody else pull and just kind of throw chairs at people. But that doesn't seem to want to work for me. This. I don't. Give me a tender box. Old archives. We made it kind of dark. Who kicked the crap out of what dude? Um, there's books on the ground. Can I pick you up? Can I throw you? Oh, that's how you throw things. Oh. Stop blowing out the air, I can't see. Oh no, 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 no. I don't want to deal with that room yet. I know what to expect in that room. That room's water. No. Okay. How can I always be. Ah! F! Yeah! Okay, I finally have a lantern, which means that this game should be a bit easier to handle now, right? 
I'm gonna pretend that was a yes. <laughs> Okay, um, there are, like, I watched everybody else play, oh, stop with the shaky shakes. Well, hey, look, a furnace makes me nice and warm. But, I'm watching everybody else play this game, and they're finding, like, tender boxes left and right. I ain't finding crap. It's not cool. Note. Nineteenth of August, eighteen thirty-nine. I wish I could ask how much you remember. I don't know if there will be anything left after I consume this drink. Don't be afraid, Daniel. I can't tell you why, but know this: I choose to forget. Try to find comfort and strength in that fact. There is a purpose. You are my final effort to put things right. God willing, the name Alexander of Brandenburg still invokes bitter anger in you. If not, this will sound horrible. Go to the inner sanctum, find Alexander, and kill him. His body is old and weak, and yours, young and strong. He will be no match for you. One last thing. A shadow is following you. It's a living nightmare, breaking down reality. I have tried everything, and there is no way to fight back. You need to escape it as long as you can. Redeem us both, Daniel. Descend into the darkness where Alexander waits and murder him. Your former self, Daniel. Okay. So, old Daniel is crazy. New Daniel is crazy. Daniel's just crazy. That's about all I found in here, and oil. I do appreciate that the blood on the floor helps me kind of figure out where I need to go. At the same time, it's creepy. But yes, no, so, how come everybody else found tender boxes like they were everywhere, and I'm, like, finding two? That's not fair, but... Don't be making weird noises at me. You stop it. Let's go deeper into the darkness. As I, I, I. How do I? There we go. Okay. Oh, cockroaches. That's why. Oh, I can jump. Jump. <gasps> Tender boxes. See? That's how it works for me. It's like with League. If I complain enough, then it slowly gives me what I want. Very true. Yeah. Okay. So we've got some light now. I already came from that way. What am I doing? Dang it. So, I still don't know what's going on. I'm still kind of scared, but I'm just going to keep moving forward. That's, that's the best thing I can do. Or not keep moving forward because I can't go any further this direction. Cool. Back this way! Um. I There they are. Okay. I was like, I lit lanterns in here. Where are they? I got, I got freaked out. I was like, no, you're not allowed to blow out the light I just put. That's a dick move. Don't be a dick, Mr. Monster. Okay, I can't go backwards. What do I do? Where do I go? I walked in here. There was no door. There's just... Crap. Okay. 
So I'm about to start going crazy because my lantern ran out of oil. Yay me. There was nothing else in here except Daniel telling Daniel, don't be a dick, Daniel. Go kill the dude, Daniel. Daniel. Past that, there was nothing else in here. Not like I could see any. Wait, wait. There's a door. Never mind. Stop moaning at me. Oh wait, this is the door that I found the Daniel note. Can I do anything in here? Nope. I just open you to bring light to the room. Yeah, cause this is the Daniel note. And I can't take anything else from in here. But I'm taking this chair. Because if you can bring a portable chair with you, you are set for life. Right? I don't... I can't see, so I don't know where else to go. I'm gonna go crazy and end up dying before I even figure out what I'm doing. Gah! Why can't I just take like a torch off the wall? That would be wonderful. So I can't go that way. I can only go back this way. If we walk back this way, we get back to the pathway that has our torches. Let me take you. No? Crap. Where do I go? I don't... I am so lost and confused. I'm sure I've got to go somewhere in that room where I found the Daniel note. But since I can't see, I can't figure out where to go. The blood on the ground points me back towards talking to myself again. No, it doesn't. Yes, it does. Points me back to talk to myself. I walk in here. Oh, I'm going crazy. But I can't do anything about it because there's no oil, there's no tinder boxes, I can't do anything. Okay, note to myself. Stuff. <laughs> Whoa, there's a thing. Oh, I can kind of see. There's a book. Bottle. Um, it's a bunch of bottles, mostly. I, I don't... Found a bunch of boxes. There's cockroaches walking around me now because I'm going nuts. I do appreciate that they've got like active, like ch tender box. Come here, Mr. Broom. Can I set you on fire? No. So we got a tender box. Hopefully, there's a lantern or a light in here we can light real fast so I can see that seems to not be the case yeah I can hear my heartbeat I'm probably going to die in a minute cuz there's just nowhere else to walk It's just this book. I don't... Hmm. 
What's this? Oh, that's a lantern. I'm good in health. I have a slight headache. I can't see where I'm going. Because stupid me wasted my tender boxes. But there's nothing else to light in there. The best I can do is kind of just shove my face and wait for it to actively change my stuff. But I feel like I'm missing something. Active. Yeah. There's a lot of cockroaches in here. And they're not even real cockroaches. I'm just crazy. Um, I don't know where I'm supposed to be going. So I guess we'll walk back out here. Walk back this direction. Stare at this rubble. Um, I feel like I messed myself up. But there's nothing else I can do. Except try to go back through the door. Am I going crazy? Nope. Nope. I'm not allowed to go back the way I came. But that's the only other way I can go because I can't see so I can't tell where else I'm supposed to go. I follow the blood because the blood's been leading me where I need to go. At first it led me over here and then it led me into the room to talk to myself. So I've obviously missed something because I really don't know where it wants me to go. I end up coming back in this room. Um. Hmm. Mostly bottles. Uh, where do I go? I don't know where to go. Now I'm in a hole. Hmm. Ah. Uh, come, Mr. Box.
I seriously have no idea what I'm doing. Like, I'm completely and utterly lost. Backtrack. I did backtrack. I can't get out the door. All I've got is the creepy cockroach room. And the door that I can't open. That's all I've got back this way. Where do I go? Ah! I don't... It's Randy Hall. It won't budge, so I can't open the Randy Hall door. If I go into the cockroach room, there's nothing else in here. Um. This red, I'm just gonna go crazy. But I just don't know where I'm going. Stop moaning at me. We know, though, for the future, don't waste your lantern, because when you need it the most, it's going to die. I got a top of the rocks. See, after about this long, any normal person, their eyes would be completely used to the dark. But... It's apparently not enough. What's that? It's a park! Hmm. I don't... know... where to go. Hello, Mr. Plant. Will you be my friend? Nope. I don't... Where do I go? There's the other side to the rubble. Cockroaches are walking around my feet like crazy. Yeah, at this point, why wouldn't they be? Stop with their moaning and groaning. Where the fuck do I go? I don't... 
I don't know where to go. Wait. I must obviously be blind in more of a literal sense because there's nothing. There's the doorway which I came from. Oh, I can close it. Neat. bunch of bottles. I can just kind of pick those up and throw them. Stop groaning at me. I really don't know where else to go. I, I can't see anything I can't go back in the door I came I don't I feel like I'm missing something. I, I know I'm missing something. But I don't know what. Well, I'm under here under the light. I'll be right back, guys. I'm going to figure out what I'm doing. Oh! Okay, guys. We're back. I looked it up. I figured out what it was it was supposed to do. No wonder. It's because it's in the dark. I can't see anything. But apparently, there's a lever in here against the wall on the left. So, we'll walk in here. There we go. Cool. Still can't see nothing. But we made it to the next room. Yeah! Oh, don't teach me how to run. This room's big and open and kind of creepy. And there's blood draw. Alexander, is it inside the castle? In a manner of speaking. Come, bring the lamp. You've been to the refinery, have you not? I don't believe I have. Is it connected to the... What did you call it? The inner sanctum. My most precious chamber, Daniel. And it lies well beyond the refinery. In fact, it lies beneath the very stone of Brennenburg. Okay. So we need something to rip open the weird blood web thing that's there. So we'll look around and see what we find. So we'll go this way. We're finally making some headway, guys. I know I... No. Oh. Hello, cockroaches. Give me another tender box. Oh no. You've given me something better. Cool. I'm not gonna use it right now because it's actually relatively bright. I'm not gonna go out that door yet. 
because I want to figure some stuff out. We're going to look around and we're going to find whatever it is we possibly can because I want to be able to like shoot through this game in one go. I know it's one of those don't expect to beat the game. Um, don't make me turn around like that. I'll go look at why she was shrieking in a moment. Now seems like a good time to go figure out why she was shrieking. Because we know what area we need to go to. Might as well go check it out. Hmm. Hello? Anybody here? Laboratory. Somehow. Stop whistling at me. Got a Hello? I feel like it's just kind of breathing at me. What went on in here? Like seriously. Oh hey, deeper down. Tender box. Yeah. And another note. The lack of chimney to properly vent the fumes from my most recent experiments has taken its toll on many of my less stable ingredients in storage. Some seem unaffected, but many are stained by the fumes. And will be difficult to salvage. I shall do what I can and move them to the wine cellar. Go. Cool. More oil. I'm gonna have like the most full lantern. It's gonna be awesome. Ah! Chemistry pot. Cool. This is my third attempt to produce artificial vitae. The former com compounds lack the potency I need, but I sense I'm close. Calamine and orpiment are a given, but the cuprite binds them well. This time I will attempt aqua reginae, regina, instead of aqua fortis, and hope. It will produce a more even solution. These words are fancy, but it's alchemy. The experiment was unsuccessful. Ah, that sucks. The solution is highly, ac highly acid and proves impractical to put to any use except as a detergent. So you can wash your clothes in acid. Neat. 
Organic tissue reacts especially violently to the solution and should be handled with the greatest care. I might be able to use the recipe, but I'm losing hope I will find an alchemic solution to my predicament. I think the is different from what you think. Probably. Ah, uh, tender box. Yeah. Okay, I haven't found anything else, so we've gone through here. We got our two tender boxes. Got oil, which was awesome. Let's get up and out of the laboratory because this place is creepy. And move on forward. But at least we understand everything, right? I needed this so I couldn't see the door. Entrance hall, though. Entrance hall. Uh, let's go this way because this way is dark and creepy. Cause you know everybody likes the dark and creepy areas. The white. Oh, man! I need a key to get into the wine cellar. Okay, so let's go back upstairs and go into that room I was going to go into before the ah earlier decided to make me turn around. We know we need a hammer to open that door behind us. So. We'll look for some sort of a weapon to do that. But for now. Let's mosey on. Let's go down here. Because creepy stairways. Tender box! Gimme. Yeah. Oh man. Of course it won't budge. There's wood. Okay, um, this way. Their family's dead. Like, dead, dead. They're a different kind of dead? Uh, there's emotionally dead. Is this true? 16th of May, oh. 1839. The unflinching African sun has continued to plague our expedition making it impossible to dig until dusk. How Professor Herbert managed to find the location in these vast plains of nothingness remains a mystery to me. When I asked him about the tomb again, he told me about the legend of Tin Hanan, the mother of us all. An interesting story in its own right, but I can't help feeling there's more. Later that evening, we uncovered a passage beneath the dunes leading to a sand-covered stone structure. The professor was confident it was the tomb we sought and ordered the others to clear the way late into the dark, cold night. Tomorrow, I shall lead the men into the ancient structure, hoping to reach the burial chamber. No matter what the professor is keeping from me, the dig should yield something interesting to take back to London and the British Museum. Okay, so... Daniel is a treasure tomb raider hunter. Daniel Croft. They never say his name, so maybe. I just know he's Daniel. But, and I'm gonna assume that on the latest expedition he went on, he brought something back that wasn't normal. I would say it wasn't human, but... Come on. Let's see, is there anything else? Do I want to light that? No. There's a thing! I uh, hereby offer my full attention and services to Alexander, Baron of Brennenberg. Hey, the dude I'm supposed to kill! This contract will reign for a total of three years where my freedom shall return to me. In addition, Alexander, Baron of Brandenburg, is to recommend my services at the Prussian Royal Court and within the sanctum of the Order of the Black Eagle. May no man break this seal. Wilhelm, House of Garrick. I hope Wilhelm will scream for us. Tee Move chair! Tender box! The tender boxes are very helpful, but I haven't used many of them yet. I'm probably gonna have to because I'm guarantee you I'm about to run out of all my oil. Now, there we go. Ooh, it's such a bright room. 
That's creepy. Open! Oh. Hello? Nope. Yeah! Tinderbox! What's this? 17th of May, 1839. My hands tremble as I write. I feel a need to document my tribulation, for I fear that my memory will fail me if I linger. Today, I took some men and ventured into the dark, ancient passage we uncovered. Our torches burned faintly in the murky air as we slowly made our way underground. The men were superstitious and fearful. They argued loudly, and I felt their strange language getting to me. I mustered my strength and yelled at them to continue down the slopes and broken steps. The crudely carved passage confused me. It looked much older than the 4th century structure we had expected. The twisting path emerged into a great antechamber. The walls were lined with statues unlike any I'd ever seen. Despite their unearthly quality, I felt a strange familiarity toward them, which haunts me still. At the far end of the chamber, a great slab of stone sealed off whatever lay ahead. I gave the order to raise it, and as I pushed through the narrow space, the heavy stone suddenly dropped, sealing me inside. I was trapped. Okay. So, expedition turned bad. You fell in a hole. Cool. But you were trapped. Daniel, how are you trapped and you're sitting here in front of us? Because. Whoa! Okay. Wasn't supposed to pick that up. Fight me. Hello? Yay. Because throwing stuff off of shelves is super creepy. Tender box! Gimme. Yeah. Hello, Mr. Magical Chests. You have oil and a tender box! It's almost like you knew what I needed. Keep it going, because we're still looking for something. What we're looking for up here, I don't know. What you looking for? Let's see, anything in there? No. Anything in here? No. Anything in here? No. Give me more tender boxes. Okay. So, that room's locked. Hi, giant hallway. Don't wiggle at me. It's creepy. You'd think with my tender box I could light the, you know, the thing. But I can't. This room's big and creepy. I don't like this room. But I know I have to be in here because there's something I'm looking for. Hello. Hi, rubble. With blood on it. Oh. There's so many cockroaches. More oil. Oh. Move. Thought I could play the piano. Guess I can't. <laughs> um. I found a map. Can't do anything with it. Found more maps. So many maps. Hello? Old and hasn't been tended to for centuries. 
When the shadow arrives, it won't take long until things start falling apart. We're just buying time anyway. Let's do what we can. There isn't much to be done about the wars. We should reinforce weak structures. The ground will tremble and there's a risk everything will cave in on us. Especially downstairs. Here, here, and there. Let's get the servants working on it. Okay. So they kind of broke in here. And we're using it for their own devices. Oh, okay. Seventeenth of May, eighteen thirty-nine. After pounding the unforgiving stone wall for what seemed like an eternity, I realized it was hopeless. I was trapped. I fell to the ground, gasping for air, trying to focus. That's when I saw a faint blue shimmer. My weakened body was heavy to carry, but I managed to push myself toward the enchanting light. Oh. I didn't realize was I was walking. For me. Enclosed in dark nothingness, I felt myself drawn to the mystic light. Hello. I reached out, closing it in my hands. The faint glow escaped my fingers and began to spark brightly and spirit me away, unlocking alien memories of spiraling towers, endless deserts, and impossible geometry. The next thing I can remember is the grating sound of stone being lifted, the voices of the Arabs pulling me to safety, and grasped Firmly in my hands was the broken pieces of a most peculiar relic. Cool. So, for you, walking towards the light was actually a good thing. Turn to the box! Other than that, we still really haven't learned anything while we've been walking around. Oh, I can't walk that way now. That's what we learned. So it means I have to go through this direction. No. Um. I'm stuck. Great. Central Prussia. Can I just kind of climb out and get out of here? Please? I don't want to be here anymore. I'm good now, thanks. I enjoyed my learning experience. And apparently until I can break open that wall, I'm trapped in a room that just caved in. Hmm. Oh, there's a thing back here. Tender box! And oil. Yeah, okay. So. <coughs> Let's keep a moving. Try to figure out something. Cause right now we're stuck. Wait. Fragile but cannot be broken by hand. What's the next best thing? Throw a chair at it. Yeah! Well, more story time. You have to be swift when you activate the first one. You hear that? If it stops, you'll have to start over. Isn't all this a bit excessive? You can never be too careful, that. Hmm. Let me 
me read. Um, Altstadt and Brennenberg Castle, 1801, another region. Rich with lore is Astap. Deep within the East Prussian woods, for centuries there have been stories surrounding the hamlet and its neighbor. Castle Brennenberg, the quiet forest-clad mountains dressed with scattered lakes is a picture picturesque as can be. Albeit the area is haunted by the dark. Ask any local and you will hear proof of the widespread superstition. All travelers should indulge themselves in such conversations, since it will certainly serve as exciting entertainment. All of them have their own twists on the tale, but there are some motives that keep reappearing. Uh, story right out of the do 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 Oh, the timer! Okay. I did it! Did it just open this door? Nope. It opened this. Found a key. What was that? Well, note uh, regarding the wine cellar. Something. Probably I'm gonna go down to the wine cellar and then I'm going to die. Because most games work like that, you know. My other tender boxes, I'm probably running extremely low on oil. You opened. Why did you open? Oil. But why did you open? I'm not okay with that. Not gonna complain. But I'm not okay with that. Okay, you're locked now. Need to get downstairs. What was that? Something just growled at me. I didn't like it. What is that noise? What's talking to me? Hello? Spooky. Oh, 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 what's chasing me? What's chasing me? I can't go that way. Go this way, go this way, go this way, go this way, go this way. What the hell was that? What attacked me? Cellar Vanadia, okay. The wine cellar's down here. What was that? What hit me? <sighs> How do I use a thing? How do I put this in my thing to use it? Um...
Ah! I don't... That's notes. It's journal. That's mementos. I found the key. So how do I use the key? Um, because it's right there. Oh, I double click it. That took a while to figure out, but I got it. Ooh, 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 key. Okay, so we made it down to the wine cellar. That took forever, by the way. I still don't know what it was that hit me. I don't want to know, but we're going to keep going. And more history. Where did the Baron go? Who cares? He left us enough wine to last us a lifetime. Or at least until tomorrow. <laughs> There's wine in here. This I'm gonna assume it's a tender box. Hey, I picked up a hammer. I can't use it. Tender box, gimme. Yeah. We need it well. Yeah. I got a full tank of oil. Woo! Okay. So I still don't really know where I'm going. But we seem to have made it where we need to be. Okay, we won't go in that door. Because the game said no. Ow. Um Great. Face my barrel. Who close? Who thinks they funny? I like how I said I didn't want to go in this door, but I went in here anyway. What's happening? Oh, it feels like my chest is going to burst. Oh. My God, Wilhelm, do something! Except we're not getting out of here. How can you say that? Alexander, you piece of shit! Let us out of here! <laughs> My final words, my confession testament, blah, 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 blah. Ah, uh, forgive me for what I have done. Okay. So Wilhelm did a bab. Wilhelm is dead. Something is in here. Whatever is in here is... Killing people. But what makes this creepy for me is I can hear something walking around. Like, I hear chains. Like, there's something moving in here. But I don't know where it's coming from. It's 
So there was a pathway like up here that I'm just gonna walk to and get out because I don't want to be in this mansion anymore. So thank you guys all for having wonderful reception welcoming me here. I really do appreciate it. But I'm gonna get the hell out because I don't really need to be here anymore. Nope. See ya. Thanks. Bye bye. Or not. Crap. Oh wait, I've got stuff. So if I combine that. Okay, that's not gonna work. Well, I couldn't find an apparatus that I needed. Where do I go? What do I do? I don't know what to do! I walked down this way before, didn't I? I did, but it was dark because I couldn't see. And I can't get in this direction. Because it's dicky. It all dicky. What? There must be something else I'm missing, but I really don't know what. This way? No, I came from that way. I don't... Ah... Uh, I went in there. So let's go back to the laboratory, so maybe we'll find something in here. So we're back in the laboratory, which is very creepily has a stairwell that leads downstairs. But I've been here before. And there wasn't really anything in here I needed to find. Sit down here. Now what's going on? Like... Oh! There's a thing! Never noticed that. Four different chemicals? I only have two! So we just need to look for two more chemicals. And then maybe we can make a bomb. Doesn't seem to be anything else near. Wait, there's a chest. Tender box! Cool. So, I guess we'll go back to the wine cellar, I guess? I, I assume that there's like a chemical there that I need. I'm just not finding it while I'm here. I don't know. I really don't know what honestly to do with this game. I guess we'll find out. Cloth. Who knows? All right, back to the wine cellar, I guess. Back in the wine cellar with the creepy sounds. Yay me. Yay me. Yay, yay, yay me. Alright. So we walked in here. We found a hammer. No more tender boxes. That's to be expected. You go through these things pretty quick if you start lighting everything. Shit. Okay. So... 
I don't have a lantern. Now I can't see. Oh! Um. Oh. Ow. So. There's nothing left. Everything's gone. So that thing happened where they decided to cave me into the room where it's dark and I have no more oil, so I can't see. Great. I'm gonna end up going freaking crazy. Right mouse button, damn it. Right mouse button. Push. 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 There we go. Cool, we're free. Okay. Now let's get out of here because I'm legitimately going crazy. And going crazy is not what I want to do with my life today. To the entrance hall! The claw. Oh, I already did that. Okay. So we've got three chemicals. I still need four. Four, but I don't know where the fourth one is and now I've got no oil so I can't look for it I don't really know what to do now let's go back into the laboratory so at least we've got some light and figure out what it is we need to do because I, I, I really don't know Um, let's see. Ah, light. Feels better. I feel sane. Okay. Let's go into the workroom. And let's just try and put these three chemicals together. Maybe it'll magically work and give me something I need. Um, what 
what I do. I did something, I guess. Oh. That's what happened. Stairwell broke. Well. Crap. And I still have no light. And all my light out there got destroyed. So... I don't know what to do now. I don't know at all. <laughs> uh. Hmm. Guess we'll keep going and see if we can figure out something because I need a fourth chemical. I need one more chemical. If I can get that last chemical, I will hopefully make what I need, and I can get out. That's all I need. The issue is now is I can't see. So I'm either going to go crazy, or I'm going to be so wibble wobbly that I can't see anything. Nope. Okay, so getting back upstairs is now impossible. Oh. Yeah. Come on, move forward. Cool, I got back upstairs. Awesome. Alright. Let's back up to the entrance hall. Let's see if we can figure something out because I don't... I, I still don't really know where to go, what I'm doing. Hmm. We went into the wine cellar. We went to the main. We went. We've been in the lab laboratory because that's where we've been working. We walked down there, and there didn't have anything. Do I have to go back upstairs? No. Because upstairs was crazy rooms, and I don't want to go back through those. I will risk going back down in here again and seeing what we can find. That's right. That's why I could've go down there. Which means I have to go upstairs. Yay. Ugh, whatever. You stop it with your spoopies. I don't appreciate it. Wait, is that? It is! Tenderbox! Cool. Um, let's go back in here. Wait a minute. Why? Does it look all bloody? That's right, because I got attacked. Can I even go back into the archives? Apparently I can! Ugh. Hmm. Nope. Oil. 
the chemical. There's like certain things that would be so useful to me right now. But since I can't see, I can't get any of them. Go over there. Nope. 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 Yes, 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 I know. I'm gonna get dangerously insane. But what else you want me to do? I can't find my stuff. What are you looking for now? I'm looking for one chemical. Literally, I'm looking for a single chemical. Shirts. Stuff. Nothing. Where are you? Oh. Nope. Nope. No. Nope. Nope. So. Oh, crap. Okay, so that door won't open. We saw this pathway before, and it freaked me out. Now is a good opportunity to walk into here and try and find what we need. Because we're so close. Um, this way. The way I lit up. Hi, dark room. I legitimately can't see anything in. Do you have anything I need? Apparently not. Oh. Okay. That door's a door I can't open. Do a thing, do a thing, do a thing. Nope. Um, let's go this way. And to Oh no no oh, oh, oh. Okay, so I'm not allowed to go in that door because the minute I do, the monster jumps up. But issue number two, I probably have to go in that doorway. Nope, I don't have to go in that doorway because there's nothing there. Okay, so we've established that there's literally nothing up in here in the archives. There's nothing here. There's nothing I can find. So let's move on, go back down to the laboratory, or back down to the main entrance, and see if there's anything down there. I don't need to be up here anymore. else can I walk? Oh, oh! <sighs> you can't you can't do that to me. That was a dick move. There's literally nowhere else I can look though. Like now it's it it it
Let's get back to the wine cellar. Wait, wine cellar? Why am I going to the wine cellar? I'm at the laboratory. Hey look, I still can't see. Let's turn back around. He's, uh... Oh. Never mind, that wasn't new wording. Oh, you fool. Okay. Now that we're in my light, and we can relax, I'm gonna end it here. Now, no. We didn't find a final chemical. No. I didn't die three times. No. I didn't beat the game. However, I have been recording for over an hour and a half. I've gotten close, but it's one of those things where since I didn't plan on making this a full series on my channel, I can't keep going. You know, like, I'm at the point of frustration at this game right now. The, the suspense is amazing. Like, I had hair standing on my arms the whole time. You know, the environment, the world is gorgeous. It looks really, it still looks really good compared to how old this game actually is. And like, even with the, even with the slight jump scares you get in the random being attacked thing, that's really good. But the mechanic with oil and the tinder boxes and just trying to find your way around this world that's so large and so black is so frustrating to me that I I, I can't try I, I can't get in trying to figure it out plus I really don't have the time if say I don't know I get a lot of requests to make this a series I might come back and try to play the game fully and actually beat it but in smaller increments because this is just a horror game like it's just a horror challenge game i can't put all that much into it so I, I i have to end it here thank you guys all so much for watching i i know i'm sorry i couldn't beat it i'm sorry i couldn't do anything with it and i'm sorry i couldn't die but it seems kind of difficult to die in this game if you're not standing still but good night to those of you who are going to bed, and good morning to those of you who are just waking up. Have yourselves all a great day, and please join me for the next adventure, won't you?